A local animal sanctuary is hard at work trying to save a critically endangered species from the brink of extinction, and they have had some big success. In this special Earth 8 report tonight, News 8 Sean Stiles shows us how the California Wolf Center in Julian was able to release some young pups that were born at the center back into the wild. The California Wolf Center has been around since 1977 and in that time has had many successes. But just a couple weeks ago, they were able to do something that they've never been able to do. Take four cubs that were born here at the facility and transplant them and foster them in a wild den in Arizona. The Mexican gray wolf is critically endangered. This breeding season, uh, we had one breeding pair, Frida and Phoenix, and they gave birth uh, to eight puppies. That was about two weeks ago. Four of those puppies actually had the chance at 14 days of old to be fostered out into a wild wolf pack. The cross fostering program is part of a survival plan with the Arizona Game and Fish. Really critical to mixing the genetics of uh, this subspecies because they were down to just seven unrelated individuals in the late 1970s. Genetic diversity makes the Mexican gray wolf species stronger. You're generally a more healthy individual, um, more resistant to diseases and things. Um, so that's vital for any species, in including humans. In the wild, there's a 50% mortality rate. So pups were removed from Frida's larger litter. Eight puppies is a lot to handle, so I'm sure uh, she's enjoying just being able to handle the four. This takes less than 24 hours and has had a 100% success rate. The way they kind of help the new pups integrate is um, they use a lot of the den substrate, like the dirt and the fur, and they rub that all over the pups. They all smell like the den. Um, if they notice the wild wolf litter has recently nursed, they'll rub some milk on the face of the newcomers. So they look like they've recently nursed as well. The captive breeding and wild teams are in constant communication. We want to make sure that the litters are born really close together um, so that they're the same age. Um, and so usually they're going to be born within a week of each other, ideally a couple of days. To give the public more access, the Wolf Center has a location in downtown Julian. It can be a bit challenging for some people to find us uh, out here in Julian, so having that downtown presence allows us to reach a wider audience. With only 163 Mexican wolves in the wild, cross-fostering is key to their survival. We don't know what the future will hold for these pups, but we hope that it's wild. If you'd like to learn more about the California Wolf Center, we've got a link set up to them at our website at cbs8.com, and just click on the help button. We'll send it back to you in the studio.